What's up, everybody? This is your boy Perfect Cell, and I'm back with a new video. And this video is sort of an updated video from 2019. And well, I want to come back to this topic about Tup how I think Tupac is overrated with a more, with a more con mature and cordial manner. Because the video I made in 2019, it was pretty much me lashing out at everybody who was being disrespectful for me at me for having an opinion. And I just want to start this off by saying this, you know, after this video, you do not have to agree with what I'm saying. All right. Because it's never really been that serious. But I need to let y'all know, like, the disrespect has to cease. And y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop twisting my words and make it seem like that I'm disrespecting Tupac and his legacy and all this other stuff. You know, because that's not where I'm, uh, that's not my angle when I said that he's overrated. Well, and all I'm saying is this too, like, uh, I'm going to go ahead and artic articulate my point, you know, and um, address everybody who's uh, twisting my words or disrespecting me and all this other stuff. And after this whole video, if you still don't, if you still trying to make it seem like that I'm saying that the man's whack or I'm disrespecting him or anything like that, then you're a part of the problem. And also, if you're disrespecting me because I said what I said, you also a part of the problem, not just with uh, the topic at hand, but you're part of the problem why hip hop is not the way you want it to be. You know, I'm just calling a spade a spade. But with no further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get to the topic, okay? Alright, so one thing I want to address is this. I, I really think most of y'all need to go back to school. Because what? Because saying that something is overrated or saying that something is just downright mediocre are completely two different things. And I also want to add this, alright? If I really thought that Pac was a bad rapper, I would not be making this video. <laughs> would have been like, yeah, he's trash, and he just kept it moving. Like, like, I do listen to his music, and I enjoy it as well. But I also listen to his music enough to form to actually formulate a real opinion about Tupac, rather than most of y'all who get who want to buck up at me for saying that he's overrated, and half of y'all niggas don't even listen to, to his music like that anyway. But anyways, I hope this I hope this part this, I hope uh this explains that I don't think the man's music is trash at all. I really hope it explains that for you. Listen, y'all, the pop quizzes about the man's discography or whatever or what he did as a person or what he did in the, in the uh in the studio. Listen, I listened to four of his albums before he died. I believe he had four. It was Strictly For My Niggas, Tupacalypse, All Eyes On Me, and Me Against The World. World. Those are all of his albums before he passed away. I think Machiavelli, I would say Machiavelli, but I think he probably made that album before he passed away, but it didn't get released until after he died, I think. But yeah, I listened to all of his albums before he passed away, and I seen his, and I seen his documentary. And I even seen the mediocre All Eyes On Me movie, <laughs> which was a disgrace to Pac's legacy. I think th that movie is way more disrespectful to Tupac than anything I have ever said about him. The point, the point I'm trying to say is this, like I know about Pac as an artist, as an actor, and as a human being, all right? So with all that, all those pop quiz questions is really not necessary. And it is not going to change my opinion about him. And you know what? That is okay. So whenever I say that Tupac is overrated in the comment section, you know, it's always somebody saying the most disrespectful shit because I'm having an opinion. And the crazy thing is, is this, you know, you do have some people that agree with me, some people, you know, you know but they just flat out say Pac is trash. You know, that might be their opinion. And then you have some people that that also agree with me. That's you know on the same page as me. That like don't think he's whack, but but do think he's overrated to a certain degree. Which is also okay. But but every time I say Pac is overrated, or every time somebody says Pac is whack, or whatever the case may be, you know we always end up getting insulted or threatened because of that. You know, and I'm at the point in my life where I'm not finna tolerate disrespect from nobody. You know anybody. Like from here on in, anybody who who uh come at me, filed, insult me, 
threaten me and all this other stuff because I have an I have an opinion about whatever. You're getting blocked. You're getting blocked. And I and I'm a I'm gonna do what I can to have your channel reported so your channel will get taken down. Try me. You've been warned if you watch this video. And it seems like every time I say Pac is overrated, you know, from the people that disagree, I get a whole bunch of disrespect from them. Like they say all these insults and things. I think one dude, he said, he called me, he said like, uh, oh, you don't know what you're talking about because you watch anime and you a faggot ass nigga. Like I get all of these disrespectful comments whenever I say that. I think somebody told me that they was gonna, uh, that they was gonna uh, blow my house up and they was gonna kidnap my mother and all this other stuff when I said that. They say all these things, but one question that I, the, but the one thing I never hear nobody say, say to me when I say this is why? What may, why do you think he's overrated? I never hear that. <laughs> all I get is threats, insults, and slander. And speaking of why, let me get to the, to the main point of what I'm trying to uh, do with this video. So my first reasoning on why I think Pac is overrated because most of y'all people act like he's the only one who had substance behind his music. And it's usually the old heads that be like that, you know? And I can name about 50 rappers who had substance in their music. Some from back then and some even from like this time. So I can name a bunch of rappers who don't be talking about the cliche stuff that that be talking that be glamorized on the mainstream and all i gotta say is this if you think that Pac is the goat because of that reason alone then you have very low standards when it comes to hip-hop so i'm sorry because there's a shitload of rappers who are like that number two i i feel like people will say that he's the goat just to save face you know just to play it safe but don't even listen to him enough to have a solidated opinion about the man you know and Pac is not the only one that, that fits this category. You have Eminem that's in this category. You have Jay-Z that's in this category. You have Lil Wayne in this category. And I would, and hey, I'm, you, you, I think you have Kendrick in this category as well too. I don't really, you know, I don't really like get it a lot from Kendrick. Maybe because like, you know, he's the latest one on this list, but but give it like five, 10 years, Kendrick will be on that category too, where people would say that Kendrick Lamar is the GOAT because everybody else is saying that he's the GOAT. <laughs> like, but yeah, those are like the main rappers that like, uh, people will say that like, oh, he the best rapper of all time, be just to play it safe, but don't even like listen to their music like that. But we'll say it just because, cause everybody and their daddy be saying it. And my last reason why I think he's overrated is this. It's because, uh, because like a lot of people like uh praise him for like doing good for the community and i'm not saying that he hasn't done anything good by our community but one thing that but he did do some things that kind of like uh rubbed me the wrong way and kind of like make me scratch my head you know like uh one he's piping down women who are married and piping down women who have who have boyfriends or whatever you like for example faith you know faith evans hey Faith said that it might not have happened, but I don't believe that for one minute. Pac got right up in them guts. <laughs> and I also heard that like Pac was messing around with Left Eye from TLC while she was dating Andre Rising. And now people saying that Pac was messing around with uh, Jada Pinkett while she was with, with Will Smith. See, okay, now that's the one that I don't believe. The reason why I don't believe that Pac was with, you know what, I'm not even going to get into that. But I don't, but I'm just going to say that I don't think that Pac ever like messed around with Jada. Like, but yeah, like, uh, and shoot, if anybody from like, uh, today's rap would have did something like that, you know, they would instantly be frowned upon. Like for, for, uh, for an example, imagine if Kanye West, you know, went on live and said that he smashed Cardi B and then he, t and then he, uh, he, uh, hit up all set and he was like, Hey, I smashed your girl, you gecko looking ass nigga. <laughs> and every and he said that every rapper from Atlanta sucks. Y'all be look y'all be looking at Kanye West like, yo, man, you tweaking. What you doing, Kanye? <laughs> uh point is I'm trying to make is that like uh you know he done like he did do right by by our by the black community, but he also did some things 
that made me question about like uh, his loyalty to the to the community, like joining the gang and fighting in the streets over some street shit. You know, like uh, in my judgment, those type of those type of things make the black community look bad. But yeah, like uh, before I before I put it into this video, I just want to say this: if you don't agree with me saying that Pac is overrated after this video, that is totally fine. Because this, the goal of this video is not for me to get y'all to agree with me. The goal of this video is to stop being so disrespectful and stop having and stop having your feelings hurt because somebody disrespects your favorite rapper. Because not everybody gonna share the same thoughts about certain rappers as you do. And also, you know, if you think that Pac is the greatest rapper of all time, or or even said that he's your most favorite rapper ever, then you know. I'm not mad at that. Like, you know, you got, you know, do you. The thing that I can't stand is when, you, is when y'all be, y'all be coming at people foul just because they have an opinion about the man that you don't agree with. You know? So I made the video to, for y'all to stop the bullshit. Not to change y'all, change y'all uh, way of how you think about Tupac. And also, before I go, I just want to send a huge shout out to my man's Breon Taylor. I usually don't name drop on YouTube, but you know, Breon Taylor was responsible for the uh, for the new music intro for my uh, for my channel. You know, and I just want to say uh, thank. I just want to say uh, shout out to him. One love, one love, breezy. Anyways, this is your boy Perfect Cell, and I'm Ghost. One love. Sweet Mary J, Mary Kate, and Ashley, two twins rolled up. I think it was a Saturday.